everybody, and welcome to the Morning Coach video channel. As you know, my name is JB Glossinger, the founder of MorningCoach.com, and I'm really excited today because we're working with something that I think will really help you, and that's establishing a budget and using a very basic tool, a spreadsheet, to put it together. Now, I know we all want to get complicated. We all want a million things that we can put together and analyze and get all detailed, but I'm here to tell you that one of the most simple tools in my life has been, been the spreadsheet. Now, I have an accountant now, I have financial advisors, but I still use my spreadsheet to look at where I'm at every morning before I start my day. So I listen to Morning Coach first, and what you should do is listen to episode 1319 because that's going to help you even more, but I listen to Morning Coach first, and then I take a look at my budget. And what I want to do is I want to show you how I put together this budget, this simple budget, with a Google document. So let's get into my computer and let's take a look at how this works, and then I'll be right back with you as soon as we you know, finish the example here. All right, welcome inside my computer. Um, I want to take you in this real quick to show you a very basic way to set up a nice budget. It's simple. Uh, it's easy. You need a little bit of spreadsheet knowledge, but not much, but it will get you organized on really a daily basis on where you're at, okay? And so there's a lot of software out there. There's websites. There's all kinds of good stuff that can help you really get organized. But Honestly, for me, for years, even with an accountant now and having all the resources and tools that I have, this is my best tool. So I've put together a real demo here, a demo spreadsheet. And what I want you to see is this is a, a spreadsheet in a Google document, okay? So you can use a number spreadsheet, which is uh, the Mac version. You can use an Excel spreadsheet, uh, or you can use a Google document spreadsheet as this. And basically, the way this works, it's very simple. You open up a new page, you open up a new spreadsheet, and if you don't know how to do that, just Google how to open up a new spreadsheet so you can get that part done. And once you have that set up, you're going to move into building your monthly budget. The first thing that we want to do is in the upper left-hand side, you want to put banking information. So you start by putting your bank accounts here, and I would actually put the account num numbers for bank one, your personal accounts, your savings accounts. And then you put the total of where you're at today and how much money you have in those bank accounts. Now, the beautiful thing about a spreadsheet is it will add up the totals of what you have in your banking. Okay, so I have total banking here. It's in green. And that will let you know how much money you have in your accounts today. Okay, and you're going to see why this is important in a minute. But it adds it up. So you would, the, the, to, in order to do that, a little spreadsheet knowledge, you would put equals, sum, parentheses, and then B through colon to b7 and then another parenthesis and that will give you, that will add that up for you so anytime you change a number let's say we have 4500 in the bank it will automatically change it for you okay so it really simplifies it very basic okay so once we have that we know what we have in the bank the next thing i like to keep track of is a little bit of cash on hand i always keep an open space for something miscellaneous uh, to be open to receive right that some money might come in investments totals that you have and then have a total of that and what i like to do is take the banking total and then the totals in these columns and get a complete total so that kind of tells you where you're at kind of net worth at this moment just kind of in a cash situation and then uh, we move into expenses, okay, or debt, whatever you want to call it, things you're going to pay, okay? I like to call it debt because it's just stuff you have to pay. And here you write down the things that you're going to pay for the month. I want you to write everything down. So you got like your house, your student loan, your car, your cell phone, your insurance, your gas, your gym, you know, and you can estimate, come as close as you can, and just put those amounts in here. Again, there will be some other expenses. So you might have a payroll for a business. You might be a hobby. You're going to spend $200 on your hobby. Maybe you put $200 of fun money into your account. So basically, anything you're going to spend your money on, you're going to have either in here in your debt or expense column or in other expenses. Again, you're going to total that up, and that's going to go equal sum and then parentheses, and you can just drag your mouse over these, okay, and then it'll grab them all and put another parenthesis, and then anytime you change or add something within these in this column, or these rows right here and this column, it's going to change this number. So now we have what's in our bank, and now we have our total bills, and this should run pretty consistent month to month. This is a beautiful thing about this system. The next thing I want to look at is my income. So I'm going to put my job income that I have here. I'm going to put my hobby income. If you're doing intelligent life design and growing, maybe you do a garage sale and you're expecting $900 uh, to come in. So this would be your total income. Once again, you have a total here. You do the equals sum, add these up. So you've got a total income. What I like to do then is budget. 
So I have my total income for the month. Let's say this is January, which would be $7,150. I then would take another formula and I equal sum this total, 817 minus B41, my total bills, which leaves me with $54 after everything's said and done. So this month, I'm really spending a little too much money, right? Because I've only got $54 left. Luckily, I have $8,700 in the bank, so that leaves me with $8,754. Now, again, I just pull this number from what's in the bank, okay, and I just put an equals B8, so that gives me the, the actual number here, and then I have my total to start next month. This is, and that comes from this total, okay, what's in the bank and the total here, minus or plus what's in the budget plus or minus this could be a minus if your budget uh, doesn't allow for numbers and you're pulling into your banking account so then i always like to put a goal here let's just say ten thousand is what you'd like to start the month with so what you've got to do is then try to cut some expenses for the month maybe you're not going to spend two hundred dollars on fun money you're going to make it a hundred okay and you will see that number just went up by a hundred maybe for the hobby you're only going to spend fifty dollars this month okay so you can kind of see now, okay, I'm up to 9000 Maybe you decide that you're going to, uh, you know, take on another job uh, cutting some grass or something. Let's just put it in here so that you can get, and you're going to really rock and roll that. So that's going to, you're going to make $1,000 on that. Okay, so you put that 1000 in there. Okay, and 1000 And that adds up. Okay, now you're at goal. So all you have to do is look at this and understand. Now, what I like to do is, as you can see down here at the bottom, is I like to do this in January and then go all the way through the year so I have a tab for each month of the year. And then I keep track of where I'm at. Now, how I said you use this daily is this. Let's say you made the house payment today. You don't want to move it out of this column until it leaves the bank, but I would put a $1,500 in here that I paid $1,500, and let's say you paid it on 1-1, one, one. so you put the date in there, and this column is from some notes. So it hasn't cleared the bank, so it doesn't take away from the total bills yet, okay? But as soon as it clears for, away from the bank, let's say on the 3rd, it will come out of here, and it will also go, cut, leave your bank account. So I would delete it out of here. That's going to ch change your total bills, as you can see. And then, I, obviously, it's going to come out of your bank, so you're going to have $3,000 in there. So because it's come out of the bank. So once it comes out of the bank and clears, you can now remove it from your expense area. This is a good way to keep track of what's going on in your bank and what's happening here with the, the money that's happening. And you'll see these numbers adjust, too, as things work. Same way, when you get paid, let's say, $3,000 uh, every two weeks, this will go down to $3,000 because you got paid. That's going to affect the numbers. But then it's going to go in the bank, so now you have $6,000 in the bank, and you're back up to your goal. Now, you may have some miscellaneous expenses that come in in the month. You add these in in this side. Say you had a, a medical bill that cost $500, and I like to use different colors, as you can see. And let's say that was an emergency. That comes in, so now we're off goal. Okay, so we know we're going to have a little bit less money to start next month. So it's a very easy way to really get yourself organized on a daily basis. It doesn't take a, it takes a little bit of work to get set up, but then you just work on it on a daily basis and it's a real powerful way to get a good look at where am I at financially? Maybe do I may, need to make some adjustments? Maybe I need to get some more income, maybe I need to cut some spending down and really we want to focus on savings and get this savings growing. Again, one small thing, I do like to keep some goals here so that you can take a look at your goals every once in a while. But it's a really easy and clean way to have a quick look at your finances. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be uh, as close to accurate as possible. All right. Thanks for coming in my computer. Let's jump back out. Okay. Welcome back. So you see, it's very simple. It's not that detailed. But if you do this every day, you really have a good idea of your inflows, your outflows. You understand what you're spending your money on, where you can cut, where you need to make money. And I tell you, when I started this process, my life changed. It totally did. Because I knew what was going on. And that sense of control is just phenomenal, especially with money. When you know you have control and you can manifest more, it just makes everything better. So make sure you listen to CoachCast episode 1319. Make sure you work through your compass that accompanies episode 1319 because I've got a lot more information on the budget there. 
but start budgeting. Really get in the habit of looking at where your money is going because from the practical standpoint, it's going to keep you organized. And from the metaphysical standpoint, it's going to show that you respect money and it's going to bring more into your life. All right. Have a great day. I'll be back with more here on the MorningCoach.com video channel. Get out there, have some fun, and put some great energy out there and start budgeting.